So I was sitting here in the living room actually, and I had like heartburn, which I had never really had before. And I thought that was really odd and I don't know why, but something told me that I like should take a pregnancy test. So I just went to the store, got the pregnancy test and it was positive. So I walked in there and showed him the test. The feeling was shock. We actually just got married about a year ago. So we were, we were gonna wait a little bit longer, but this is quickly becoming our new plan. Yeah, it's working out. We're both excited. The family's uh, really excited. Oh my um, yeah. And uh, our son's really excited as well too. So I got a little shirt for Aiden. Um, it was a black shirt and in white writing it said, soon to be big brother. And we wrapped it up and we set him down one night and you know told him we had a present for him and so of course you know he's super excited to get a present and he he opens it and you know he he wasn't exactly like soon to be big brother like what it, you know what does that mean and so Eric starts and walking him through it a little I don't even think he took the time to read it I think he was just saw it as a shirt and threw it off to the side and then we had to bring him back so once he finally figured it out he just what did he keep saying he was, he was pretty surprised, for real. Yeah, yeah for real. he just kept yelling, for real, for three or five minutes or so. And it's been really fun. We've been using fruit with him. Um, there's like an app that tells you how big your baby is each week, kind of as the size of a fruit. And so, you know, it started as like an olive one week. So, you know, you get the little olive. And he, he was like, oh, he's so confused how it was the size of an olive, but it had a heart. So in general, our first uh, appointments for patients who become pregnant is somewhere between 10 and 12 weeks. Um, and uh, sometimes that's very brief and sometimes it, it can last for a half hour or more. We also draw labs and uh, attempt to listen to the baby's heartbeat also. With Kaylee, I believe I saw her a little bit sooner, not necessarily because she had any problems, but just because we wanted to touch base because it had been a while since I had seen her. We are delivering at Wesley. They've got the labor and delivery with the really great NICU which hopefully wouldn't need, but it's awesome to have that in case we did need it. And they also have the birth care suites, which is actually where we're hoping that we can mm. deliver at, because it's a little bit more of a home-like experience. And they've got the nice big rooms with the waiting rooms for families. And we've had several appointments at Heartland so far, and they've all been great. Our yeah. first one was Asano, where we got to you know, find out how far along we were. And then, um, we had our appointment with Dr. Hirschberger mm -hmm. and then an additional two sonograms. And so we've had three sonograms so far. And I mean, my favorite thing is once I could start feeling her kick. I thought that was oh, really fun. Yeah. And that, that's pretty cool. I can't remember. They said we should start being able to feel it between like 16 and 21 weeks or something around there. And there was one night, it's only happened one time so far, but. There was one night that I was, I must have just been laying right in the right position and she was kicking hard enough that he was able to yeah. feel it. So that was really, yeah. really neat to. That was pretty cool. Kaylee hasn't asked for, Kaylee really hasn't asked for too much. Um, hasn't been too much adjustment since she's been pregnant. Kaylee's a very vocal person. So um, if she needs something, I'm sure she will just give me a nudge <laughs> and uh, we'll be good to go. I don't know. Do you need something? Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> the 18 to 20 week mark for the anatomy ultrasound, always a fun one. Find out gender or not. It's, uh, we love surprises because everybody finds out nowadays. So that, you know, five to 10% of moms that decide uh, for it to be a surprise is always exciting. We did a, we did a blood test. Um, we had them, is, is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. They okay. can do it between, like yeah. starting at 11 weeks. Yeah. They just take my blood out of my arm and they can tell if it's a boy or a girl. Once those results came in, yeah. it was just waiting until our date mm -hmm. that we had planned for the gender reveal. Yeah. My sister and mom had worked together to make a little, it was a box and inside of it, it was gonna either have pink stuff or blue stuff inside and then we were gonna open it and see. And so my mom had her neighbor put the stuff inside so nobody would know, not even them. Aiden mm -hmm. helped us open it and his reaction was yeah. priceless. Yeah. He was super excited. Wesley has several, I can't even tell you how many, 
classes for preparing to have a baby. They've got breastfeeding classes, infant CPR. So those are all classes that we have a list of and we just have to identify mm -hmm. the dates so that we feel prepared. I'm excited yeah. about them. <laughs> I plan to meet with Morgan Tracy, the maternity navigator at Wesley, and she'll help us together walk through a plan of what the important things are and then also what his role will be. Everybody's been really nice. He's great to work with. He sits down and, and talks with us and he explains mm -hmm. it. He takes the time to answer all of our questions. Yeah, I think the other thing for me too is, is I kind of sit back sometimes and just look around and, and watch. And um, I think it's, it's pretty amazing when you're interacting with the staff that like you can read people's faces. And I mean, we've talked about it um, a little bit as well too, but like you can truly like read people's face and see you're interacting with a, a, a team and uh, they're just as excited uh, for, for you and you know, your family. I was born here. All of my siblings were born here. Two out of the four of my children were born here. Um, and it's for good reason. In general, in medicine, where there's high volume, there's excellence. And through our labor and delivery system, we do provide excellent care. You know, everyone's really excited. People that maybe you wouldn't normally hug are hugging you mm. and they're excited and, you know, they become invested as well. I mean, honestly, I'm really excited to see how Aiden does. Like, I'm so excited to see, like, his interaction with with the baby and just how it, you know how it changes the dynamic of our household. Well, I'm probably more excited about like the growing up process um, and uh, having those moments and like what activities. Um, kind of like she said before, you know, uh, we have a eight year old boy um, and I think, you know, we have the opportunity to do a little bit different things with her. So I think that's the most exciting thing is just those moments and, and uh, having fun and having fun together as a family.